Hey guys, what's happened? So, take a look at this new power supply. It's from my uh, mining rig. It's a Lipa G1600 watt power supply. So this is a massive power supply. Uh, ATX 24 pin, peak 1700 watt. And I got this to replace my uh, 1200 watt, the course over here. For some reason when I have, uh, it should actually be all powered, so I don't know if there's something wrong with the power supply, but uh, when I run six cars in there, it just fails and reboots. So, yeah, that's funny. That's the original power supply that came with this rig, that Craigslist uh, score. But, so I wanted to get something obviously more powerful that I could run the six cards in. But uh, this was $200 on eBay, and it's refurbished. And it says it has, you know, Japanese grade A capacitors. And it's actually made by Intermax. That's actually where it came from. It shipped from Intermax in, in uh, Chino. Made in China, I like everything, everything supposed to be made in China here now. Um, Alright, so I guess we'll open this thing up. So it looks pretty high end. I'll show you some of the other things I thought that basically make this thing high end. A couple things you're looking at. When you're looking for a power supply this, this massive, with this many watts or amps, you need to have. This is actually a critical thing right here. Is you need one of these massive power plugs. Like you would normally find like on a server, a server with a big power supply. Um, yeah, now you don't really want the typical like standard ATX power supply connector, just because it's not designed to draw enough amps. And some of those cheaper ones, those cheaper power supplies you see on like eBay, are actually they they claim they're 1600 watts, but then they have that standard plug, you know. This is a much larger plug. You can tell the pins are facing this way instead of this way. So, actually, it's not that big. Yeah, it's actually smaller than the Corsair. So, that one is 1200 watt, that's 1600 watt. Alright, so I gotta shut down this computer and the server. And hopefully, this thing works. I should probably hook this up to my power supply tester first just to make sure before I get too involved in taking this other one apart. Alright, so one of the things I noticed is that it doesn't have a power switch. And that's kind of lowball for a power supply of this much power. You know, that doesn't, that's ridiculous actually. Horrible. Especially at 1600 watts. Plug this in. Alright. Okay. That's not a big deal. 12 volt version 2. Or a. Uh, second rail, but what I'm looking for mainly is this primary here. Alright, so I guess I'll put it in and we'll see how it works. Alright, let's see. Yeah, my other one would uh, fix that, but my other one would actually fail during benchmarking the power supply. Alright, so we're back in business here and all six of these cards are mining. These are uh, BIOS modded RX 580s, uh, doing about 28 mega hash. I'm actually in low power mode, running uh, nice hash. The link space, link space version of it here. So, all right, I'm gonna let this thing run for a couple days, and uh, before I put it away and put it in the data center, but uh, we'll take a look at it. Monitor temps. All right, cool.